Hello and welcome to Caesar's Snack Sandwich Trust Wallet Tiny Tweet. So today we're going to be talking about swapping tokens in the app. So taking one token and turning it into another, trading so to speak. So we're going to be using this DEX down here, but before I open it up I want to tell you what it is. And basically what it is is um, it's a way to change one token into another token. But with most, or with a lot of other wallets, they have their own pools of liquidity. They have their own coins, and they ask you to change between one token to another token. Now, there's two problems with that. One is that they might not have a lot of liquidity, and as you trade larger amounts, then you will get a worse price because of what they call slippage. Now, the other problem is that they would usually charge a fee for this service, right? And sometimes it can be 1% or so. But... In the Trust Wallet, they are actually just linking to decentralized exchanges on the blockchains. So let's go into dApps here and find out which ones they are. So there are two major dApps that they link to, and one is Binance's Smart Chain Pancake Swap. So if you're going to be swapping a Binance Smart Chain token, it's going to use the Pancake Swap to do that. Now, if you're going to be swapping an ERC20 token, it's going to be using Uniswap to do that. So let's go into the pancake swap and compare. Okay, so I've set up one. It's going to reload. So let's say we're going to trade uh, TWT for Binance Smart Chain, and let's choose maybe 200. Okay, and it's going to give us a number 1.2. Now we could try to remember that, but I'm going to screenshot it instead. Okay. So we don't want that. Get rid of that. And let's go back to the DAP here and DEX. And I've already set it up and let's make sure it's refreshed. Let's change this 200 back to 200 again. And then take a screenshot. Okay, now mm -hmm. let's take a look at these screenshots and find out if they are the same or not, or you know, comparatively. So let's go to screenshots, oops. Go to gallery and screenshots. So here's the first screenshot and here's the second one. So if we look at the number 1.0265, 1.05. So actually you'll be getting a little bit more if you were to do it through the trust swap. Now the reason why these numbers don't match exactly is because there's a little bit of price change all the time. So the price of these two tokens is constantly changing a little bit, a little bit, right? So when you try to swap here, and then it takes me a few seconds to swing over here, then it will, you know, have a small little change in price. So that's pretty much it. So I hope this is useful for you. Now, of course, when you do do the swaps, when you do press the swap here, or if you press the swap here, you're going to have to pay gas, right? BNB gas. And if you use Uniswap, you're going to have to pay ETH for gas. And then you're also going to have to pay the uh, liquidity pool fee. If you can see down here, you're going to be paying liquidity provider fee of 0 0.42. You can see it right at the bottom right there. So that's how much of the TWT you're going to have to give to the, uh, the, to the liquidity pool in order to make this swap. So it's going to cost you a little bit of money, but it's not going to cost you a little bit extra to use this DEX inside the the actual uh, application, right? So there's one more thing that I do like about this is it's very fast. So if I were to change, let's say I were to change to another token, uh, true USDC, and swap to ETH, and let's put 300. I find it to be quite fast, boom. And no, of course you're gonna have to prove this, but you see how fast it was at actually loading. So that's pretty much it. Take a, thanks for watching and happy trading.